Hey guys, welcome back. This declutter is going to be my palettes, single shadows, mascaras, liners, and some just random products too. I hope you enjoy. Also, before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. That'll let you know every time I upload. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, next down, these are all of my single shadows or like shadow toppers and then also just some palette overflow that we need to figure out a lot of color pop here there's lots of like stila i am just gonna keep all of my color pop ones because like i keep saying i already went through a lot of these i'm also going to keep these mark jacobs sequin single shadows i have the shade gleam girl and topaz flash they're just both really pretty also gonna keep these tart rainforest of the sea liquid shadows the colors are just really unique i like them a lot. I'm going to keep these two Stila shadows. This one's Kitten Karma and this one's Diamond Dust. Also keeping both of these Violet Boss liquid shadows. The sticker fell off of this one, but it's my favorite one. I will find the name and I'll put it in the description, but they're both really gorgeous. I'm actually going to get rid of this color though, because whenever I put it on, it's really patchy and just not that exciting. It's the shade Freedom from Stila. I'm going to pass that one on. I do love these ones. They're like duochrome colors. They're so pretty. It's Sea Siren and Into the Blue. I'm actually gonna get rid of this one. It's Giorgio Armani in the shade 8. It's their like liquid shadow, but they're just not that impressive. Get a Stila one. Get a Violet Boss one. This is just not... I won't use it. This Cover FX one has survived so many declutters, even though I just never use it. This is gonna be one that I give like one last chance. This one from Flower Beauty. I don't even know if they make this. This is really unique. It's like a blue purple but it has more of a black base to it it's right here i'm gonna give this one one last try too if i do a look with it then i'll keep it but if i don't then i'm gonna pass it on this the urban decay vice special effects i think it's actually a lip product but um i used it on my eyes <laughs> it's really pretty like this is such a unique shade i'm going to keep my color pop pigments these are the crab the scales and the water bear okay these are a big throwback these are the nyx jumbo eye pencils i have the shade milk and night i'm i like keeping these to use for like halloween looks or just i don't know more artistic kind of things so i will keep them for that reason here is this revlon color stay single shadow it's in i think it's just 715 it's like a cream shadow but it's such an easy like one shadow look so I'm keeping this i have my wet and wild shadow in the shade brulee i do really love this so i'm keeping it this is a charlotte tilbury stick shadow so it's in the shade smoky emerald i have yet to try this out so i'm gonna keep it a few different glitters here um i am gonna keep this nyx one i don't know the name but it's just like the classic silver iridescent glitter these two i'm pretty sure are from when i did show choir <laughs> that means i should probably get rid of these right like that was a long time ago i'm gonna look at these and if they look kind of gross i'll get rid of them i should probably i'm gonna get rid of them <laughs> anyways i will keep this one though i got this in a boxy charm it's just this really pretty like purpley shade. This is sad. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. This is the Stila Kitten shadow, but it's that kind that you have to use the like mixing medium with and it's just like it's too much. I'd rather just grab my liquid eyeshadow from Stila. So this is a classic, but I'm gonna pass it on. I have an Anastasia pigment in crystal. I haven't tried this much. I am going to keep this to try it out some more. And I'm going to keep this appeal liquid shadow. I've used this a lot in looks on my Instagram. Got this in a boxy charm a while ago. And I have this single shadow in Mushroom from Urban Decay. Um, I'm just gonna pass it on. This drawer looks so nice. Um, so I have all my like liquid eyeshadows right up here, the color pop in the back, eye primers and like pigment primers. They're kind of in here along with the pigments. The glitters are in the back because I really don't use them that often. This is where I keep all my eyeliners. These are just kind of pencil ones. Then these are most of like my colorful ones. And then I have overflow powders in here. I have mascaras that I'm going through right here. These are not all of my mascaras, trust me. They're just kind of the ones that I have open and I'm going through. Definitely keeping my collection of NYX Vivid Brights liquid liners. The cream gel liners from ColourPop. Keeping these. This is actually a white liner from NYX. I'm definitely keeping this one. I also have this glittery liner from NYX. I'm keeping this too. Let's see, these are just a couple of black liquid liners I know I'm keeping. The Revolution Pro Flick Liner. The Benefit Roller Liner. And... This one I've used before and I know I love it. It's the Sephora Collection Fine Line. 
liquid liner. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's the Wet n Wild. It's like a metallic liner. This is one I love. It's a NYX Studio liquid liner. I love this color. This is a black liquid liner from Hank and Henry. Got it in a boxy charm and I've never tried it, so I'll keep it. This is the white liquid liner from ColourPop. It is really nice, so I will keep it. This is this little mini Sephora color block liner in white, and I actually really like this one. I don't know if they make these anymore, but I love it. I also have it in blue. Urban Decay 24-7. The lip pencil um hey guys i've been using this on my eyes and you know what i'm gonna keep using it as an eyeliner this is a maybelline lasting drama liner i like using nude liners on my waterline i don't like this one so and this is just a tiny sephora white pencil liner i'm gonna see if i have any other ones and if i do i'll probably get rid of this one this is an la girl liner and it's like a nude shade and I like this one a lot. Here are some more Urban Decay liners. I am going to keep them all. I'm going to keep this one. These are two more LA Girl liners. These are some of my favorite ones from the drugstore, so I'm keeping these. Got a couple more liquid liners in here, keeping those. I have two more liquid liners. Um, I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild one, the Starlit one. I'm going to get rid of these are both just super old, so I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to keep these two. They're just black liners. I'm going to get rid of this little tiny nude pencil. I think it was in a boxy charm, but it's just dried up. And also gonna get rid of this NYX Faux White. Okay, these are both so old, like I've had these since high school, so gonna get rid of them. I am gonna keep this Maybelline one. It's like this really pretty kind of periwinkle color. I like this one. I'm gonna get rid of this Catrice Liquid Metal. I have a little mini size of this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, just in black, so I'm gonna keep it to try. I do have this pretty vulgar gel liner. I like this one a lot, I'll keep it. I have the classic Maybelline Eye Studio one, so I'll keep that. And I have a white gel liner from ColourPop that I will keep. And these are all the mascaras that I had in this drawer. I'm going to keep this Armani one because I've never tried it. I'm gonna get rid of this NARS one. I just don't like it that much. I will keep the Charlotte Tilbury because I've never tried it. I'm going to get rid of the Too Faced because I don't like it. And I'm gonna keep the ColourPop. This is actually a blue mascara. Okay, so I'm just gonna have the mascaras up here. And then over here are the pencil liners. And then here I have the liquid ones and i also have little gel ones in the back and then some minis these are the bigger palettes that don't fit in the drawers so okay i need to put these down these are the rest of my palettes you can't even see what's in here it's kind of a mess so we're gonna start with these palettes so what i think i'm gonna do here is pick my absolute favorites first and put them away and i know there's some in here that i just like haven't tried enough to really have an opinion on so I think I'm gonna keep those in a basket like by my vanity to make sure I try them out, make sure that I like them or I wanna keep them before I put them back. Cause it, otherwise they're just gonna get lost again. These Huda Beauty palettes are some of my absolute favorite ones. I love all of these, like, so these can all stay. I'm also going to keep my Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette. Here's one I know I love, the Revolution Soph eyeshadow palette. I love this palette so much, it's so pretty. I also really love the Soph Extra Spice palette. So good, I love the quality, the shades are so pretty. Ooh, okay, I love this one, that's from Melt Cosmetics. It's the Gemini palette, just so stunning. I also love both of these Milani eyeshadow palettes. We have the Mattes one and the Bold Obsessions equally as gorgeous. I probably use this one more. Next up, the Tartlet and Bloom. I love this one. It's just such a classic. All your nice neutral everyday kind of shades in there. I do love my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Ooh, it's just so pretty. Also really love my Alamar Cosmetics palette. It's the volume one. This is one I've had for a while and I just always forget about. I think I need to put it with my big palettes because it just gets buried in my drawer. Surprisingly, this one's going to go in the limbo pile. I bought this one on an impulse. <laughs> Impulsive. Come back here. Some of the shadows I feel like were a little bit patchy when I tried them, but I want to give them another shot because normally I love melt shadows, but this one I felt like was a little different. I don't know. I know it was limited edition, but I really, really like this. Another classic, The Naked Heat. Definitely keeping this one. Here's all my Anastasia palettes. I'm not going to open them all. You know what they look like, but I am going to keep all four of them. This should just go in a museum. This is literally my first ever palette, which I think it's a lot of people's first ever like high end palettes. It's still beautiful. I I will tell you, I haven't worn this in like years. Like I don't even know the last time I opened this, but I will never get rid of it. Same with this guy, my Too Faced chocolate bar. It has seen better days, but I love this palette so much. My shades are like falling out. I still love this palette. Okay, just to get some ColourPop palettes out of the way, cause I'm keeping all of these. I have the Aha uh -huh Honey, the I Think I Love You, the Dream Street, the Zodiac, Give It To Me Straight, and Sweet Talk. I love all of them. Okay, this should also go in a museum. This has survived so many declutters and I've had this for literal years, but I think it's actually time to pass it on.
time to move on. All right, this is the ABH Norvina palette. It's the volume two. This one I think is actually really pretty. Definitely I need to try it out more, but I want to keep it. This is an Ace Beauty palette that I got in a boxy charm. This is so stunning. And on that same note, this is the Flare palette from Ace Beauty. Love this palette so much. I used it in that first impression. Here's one that's gonna stir the pot a little bit. I don't like this palette. <laughs> like it's beautiful. All of the actual colors in here are beautiful. Like the shades are gorgeous. They, they're dusty. Like they're chalky and I don't like it. I don't even think the shimmers are that great. So I'm decluttering you. Oh, this is a classic. Naked Ultimate Basics palette from Urban Decay. Just really great mattes in here. This pure palette I got in a boxy charm. This is gonna go in the limbo pile. Same with this guy. I bought it because like it's adorable. Look at it. But I've never even touched this. I'm gonna put it in the limbo pile. Another classic. This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. These are gorgeous. Here is the Naked 2 Basics palette. I do like this one a lot. Just really good cool tone colors. Here's one that just keeps getting buried. It's the Elf and J. Kissa palette, but it's so cute and I love J. Kissa. So I need to use this more. This is the Violet Boss Essentials. This is gonna go in the Limbo pile. The Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I love this one. It's the Zulu by Juvia's. I haven't used it as much as I should, but I really like it. This is one that's gonna go in the Limbo pile. It's a gorgeous palette. It's the Saharan by Juvia, so I wanna try it some more. Last up here, we have the Shanxo the Remix palette from BH Cosmetics. Beautiful, I really love those like neutral colors. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping most of these. First we have the So Jaded palette from ColourPop, I love it. The Morphe and Jeffree Star palette I also love is the original Jaclyn Hill palette. Keeping it, throwback. This is the 350M back when everyone needed this palette. I just feel like I can't get rid of it. Now we have this Morphe palette, it's the 35M. I love the like greens and the purples in here. And then of course we have our Morphe James Charles palette. I'm keeping this one. I don't know why I showed you, you know what it looks like. I also have the 39A, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this one. And last but not least for Morphe, I have the 39S, this one right here, which is so gorgeous. Last but not least, we have just a Z palette full of some single shadows. These are from JD Glow Cosmetics. And these are all from ColourPop. I have my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Love that one. Okay, I forgot about this one. This is the Sephora Pro Warm palette. Actually, I think I'm gonna declutter this one. The quality on it does not match the price point. I don't know, I think the shadows are just kind of dusty, so I'm gonna declutter it. This palette drawer is so much better than it was before. It's still overcrowded. I feel like I'd eventually like to take some of these and put it in the drawer below. Um, that's where I have like all my extra stuff, so maybe I could find another place for the extras and then have two palette drawers, but for now, this is looking good. And last but not least, this is kind of a miscellaneous drawer and kind of an overflow or backups kind of drawer. Okay, well, here's an empty box. <laughs> Let me get all the lashes together and we'll look at those. Actually, I just took everything out because it's easier and I'll put it back in. I love the Ardell ones. I have like the Wispies, the Demi Wispies, and these are these Studio FX ones. They're really pretty. I think they still make these. They're from Sephora Collection. These are gorgeous. They're like really dramatic lashes, but I love them. These I've never tried. Like they got lost in here. I think they were from a boxy charm or something, but I want to keep those. These, I'm actually not sure where they're from. They're not really my favorite. I think I might pass them on. And I also found these Kiss individual lashes. I do like these. I haven't used them in a while, but I'm going to keep them. Okay, I keep a lot of my backups in here and they're kind of all in this plastic bag, which honestly I'll probably keep them in. Um, but I'll show you what's here. Palladio rice paper blotting sheets. I really like these. Um, I have three of the CYO long lasting foundation because they're going to discontinue them. So I bought a bunch of them. I also have a brand new RCMA no color powder. I haven't opened it yet just because I don't really need to yet, but I do want to keep it. Okay, I somehow have two backups of Tarte Shape Tape, which is just fine, but one is fair and one's fair neutral. Guess I already had another one, but keeping those. Some brow product backups. I have an Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and a Precisely My Brow in the shade number two, and also a Brow Wiz from Anastasia. Ooh, I also didn't realize I had a backup of this, but I'm gonna put that in the setting spray drawer because I don't even have one open right now, but I really love this one from Too Faced. I have a Milani Make It Last setting spray, so I'll keep this as backup. Wow, I even have a little backup of my Essence eyeshadow in Snowflake that I used as a highlighter, so I'm gonna keep that because I don't think they make these anymore. So I found my original RCMA No Color Powder. It's 
pretty much gone and since I have that new one I'm just gonna get rid of this one. I have a backup of my duo lash glue. I love this one. It's the latex free one. I have a backup of my Physicians Formula Eye Booster. I think this is the old packaging. Actually I should probably open it because I don't have one in my drawer so I'll probably move that one up. Okay I think that's it for the backups so I just put them back in this plastic bag. Very very fancy. I'm just going to kind of put this in the back of the drawer. Some other random things I had in here before I get into this huge bag full of mascaras. I got these from the dollar store just to use in like different eye looks or something so I just want to keep them in here because I don't know what else to do with them. I also keep a lot of like lip balm products in here just kind of overflow but I might end up putting them in my lipstick drawer. I have this little rosebud, this Carmex which is actually this has to be really old we're gonna get rid of that. Okay I can't even figure out the brand name on this but I'm pretty sure I got it in like an Ipsy or something a long time ago but it's like a balm for your lips, your face, whatever you want to use it for so I'm just gonna hang on to it for now. I also have this Dr. Bronner's lip balm. I have used this one before and I really liked it, so I guess this is more of a backup, but I'm gonna keep it. Oh, here's why that box was empty. This was a little mini set from Bite. I'm obsessed with these. This is the um, lip mask and then this is the, the nighttime lip therapy. Here's another one right here. It's not been opened, so love them so much. Okay, and then this is a little tin. I could probably put some of the others in here. Um, I have even more Bite lip masks. I think I can fit those others in here. That way they're more contained and they're not getting rid of these. I also just have some extra sponges in here. Like this is a mini tart sponge. I don't know why I put it in this container. Then I also have this beauty blender. I think I've actually used once but I put it away because I had a bunch of other sponges that I was using. I also have this I love so much. It's the Sol de Janeiro Rio Sunset Glow Oil. But this stuff is so beautiful. Hopefully I'll be able to go outside in the summer and I'll be able to use this. I don't even remember where I got these but they're supposed to be little blotting pads or something. I have never opened these but I will definitely try them soon. I also have some empty palettes here. This is like a little mini Z palette and then an empty Colourpop palette. Who remembers these? This was from when Colourpop first started doing their pressed shadows. I feel like I can't get rid of it. I also just found this Clever FX glitter drops that I've never opened. I think it was from a boxy charm. Honestly, I'm never going to use these, so I'm going to give them away. And this Z palette was just sitting in the bottom of the drawer too, and I always forget about it. It has, these two are Physicians Formula. These are both NARS blushes. Honestly, I'm not even sure what these are. There's not a sticker on them, but they're little highlighters. All right, <laughs> this bag right here. So this is actually full of mascaras, all unopened. And so the thing is, when you work at Sephora, you kind of get a lot of mascaras, like you just do. And I'm gonna keep all of these because, you know, I obviously go through mascaras, but I don't wanna have a bunch open at the same time, which is why I just keep them all down here. And then I bring them up to the drawer when I'm ready for a new mascara. But I will show you all the ones I have. This is a Koki one. I love this mascara. It's probably one of my favorites from the drugstore. This Maybelline Snap Mascara. I think I bought this on a whim one time. Haven't tried it yet. Um, these are from Sephora Collection. Honestly, I think they're discontinued. Actually, this one might be opened. I'm gonna put that in my mascara drawer. I have this little Baby It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and I actually have the full size right here, too. Here is another Sephora Collection mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess. I have a mini Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex. I haven't always had the best luck with this mascara, but I do want to try it again. I have a Lancome Monsieur Big mascara. I have the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. I love this one. And then a Buxom Big Tease mascara. Does this one exist still? I'm not sure. And then I have the Tarte Big Ego and the Tarte Lifted. And then I have the Benefit Roller Lash and the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I love both of these. And then last but not least, I have the KVD Go Big or Go Home. And then a ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. So all the mascaras are in here. My extras are back here. I got my lashes up here. It looks so much better than before. It was just a disaster before. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.